hello friends welcome back to our youtube channel so in our today's video we will be learning about how to fulfill a jumia order and also we will be learning on how to calculate profit while you list your product on jumia so jumia is an e-commerce site in africa where we sell uh, we sell and buy products online so jumia usually fulfill orders listed by different sellers so in order to sell on jumia i'm going to do a part a part on how to create a jumia account but in this in this video i'm going to emphasize further on how to calculate jumia profit so jumia usually usually deducts a commission when you sell a product on their platform so maybe you have sold a, an electronic on jumia platform they will charge you the 15 15 or 10 percent of the total cost of that product also when you are selling on jumia you have to add the 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 transport money while you are going to drop the product that you are selling if you are drop shipping so jumia also has a jumia express where you will go and drop the your product on the warehouse but i have not used that method if i use that method i would come back and teach you about that but when you are selling on on uh, on drop shipping when you are using drop shipping you have to add the fare for dropping them the package and also you have to 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 add the jumia commission also jumia also charges the shipping cost so and also you have to add the product cost and you have to place your product to be competitive such that if even if you add all those expenses you your product is competitive on jumia pro, on jumia platform such, such that you have a profit so i have i, I did a, uh, an excel sheet on how to calculate jumia jumia profit and if you you want that excel sheet i can share with you on the uh, on the description and also on pin comment so that's that is the part one on how how to calculate jumia profit so let's go to the part two on how to fulfill a jumia order so in order to fulfill a jumia order you will have to come to set a center on jumia create an account then when you create account then you list a product i will teach you all that if you're interested and when you come to set a center dashboard you will have these panels and you have a panel where we have order and in order part you whenever an order comes in the you will have a notification in red, red in color and the number of total orders so when you click on that order you will see what item someone someone somebody bought from you so in, in our case here we were somebody bought our clothing kit from our shop so jumia is an is an exponential organization and the exponential organization usually have characteristics that they must have a dashboard for community to interact with the internal system so i have a video on exponential organization which is long overdue but i will produce that video in a near future so let's continue to our video on how to fulfill a jumia order so you will come you will come here and in our tab section and create click order tabs then you will click print all document then you will click go to start fulfilling your 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 package then you will click on create package and next but before that you will have to select the fulfillment center and usually jumia has only one fulfillment center that is only located in nairobi and others are on china but for the sake of this video you will just click click it click create package and next then you will click save invoice and next so but before that when you can see on the top the, the, we have a pending order number one but when we will finish this process of fulfillment of an order the pending will move to ready to ship so you will select our our our, our fulfillment center then create create a package and next then save invoice save invoice and next 
then you will have this option then you, you will just click ready to ship and when you have finished doing that you will just press close and now our our pending order have moved from pending to ready to ship and now if you go to ready to ship this is where our product is and when you have done this you will just then go to you where your product is and you will drop it in at Nairobi CBD for fulfillment when the product is fulfilled you you will see it here on the tab so and when that is ready you you will see a tab on on printing the documents then you will save all the doc all the eight documents the eight document one contains uh, a an, uh, an invoice for the customer uh, and a pick list to pick all your order but the the two important one are the pick list and the invoice for the odd invoice for for the customer and there is another document where jumia when you drop the product they stamp to confirm you have dropped the the package on the outside so when you you do that you will come and save this document and print it so when you print you are supposed to attach the the invoice on the uh, on the package of the customer so this is the invoice and it has the 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 customer name and where it's supposed to be dropped so that is the end of this video hope you have learned something new today so, so sub subscribe to our channel and watch our next video here and if you are interested in our business playlist i will link it here so till next time bye